Concerns of violence, Jeff. We're near the Penumbra Kelly building, and you can see there's a huge crowd behind me uh, at Northeast 47th and Burnside. And you can see that people have started to move back toward the building. Police have declared an unlawful assembly already and made a big push on the crowd, uh, firing some non lethal munitions or less lethal munitions uh, at folks and uh, pushed us back. Even uh, us press got pushed back a little bit, had to move. Uh, and now people are kind of inching back in, uh, police citing that people were throwing projectiles and also blocking the streets for declaring that unlawful assembly. And there are concerns over more violence tonight after last night's fatal shooting. Some of the people who witnessed the incident yesterday were traumatized after seeing the extent of the violence. He's been, no, shot. He's, he's, been shot. he's been shot. He's been shot. He's been shot. Witnesses were still in shock hours after watching a fatal shooting unfold on Southwest 3rd and Alder Saturday. Like I said, I was on my way home and then boom, I heard the shots and I seen dude fall. This man who didn't want to be fully identified says he was in his car when the shots rang out behind him. I was looking at my rear mirror and like I said, I just seen dude fall and then a lot of people going over there say, oh, he got shot. He got shot. And then I, I, I pulled over and then that's when the police came. Our camera crew was also stationed near Southwest Alder and 3rd at around 8.30 when they said some sort of confrontation appeared to be underway. They saw men shouting at one another from across the street. Witnesses said it appeared as if some people might have been moving towards one another. Someone deployed a massive cloud of pepper spray or mace. Shortly afterward, shots rang out. There's a shooter. He's been no, shot. No, he's, he's, been been shot. he's been shot. He's been shot. Police have said there is not enough information about the shooting to know whether or not it was politically motivated or in any way related to clashes between pro-Trump supporters, protesters, and counter-protesters that were happening in the city at the time. I ain't gonna be able to sleep at night. This man said he felt emotional afterwards, adding that it was a bad situation that he had nothing to do with, but difficult nonetheless. He says the tensions in the city Saturday served as a bad omen to him. I had a funny feeling, man, that something bad was gonna happen. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I just had it. So back out here, uh, you can see that people are uh, again uh, in the streets near the Penumbra Kelly building. I'm expecting that police would make another push at some point uh, because an unlawful assembly has been declared and they don't want people around the building. We'll just have to keep an eye on, team, uh, an eye on things rather and to see what happens out here. Back to you. Okay.